And I'm here with Terry Polo. How you doing, Terry? <gasps> I love Terry Polo. Where is she? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, all the celebrities. Oh my God. I know. Isn't that wild? Terry Polo. She's no, not a celebrity. Trust me. So you having a good time? I am. Do you give out your Twitter address? Or are you are you on social I media? I don't tweet or tweet you know. or whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> I don't go on Facebook. I think it's the most unsocial network in the entire world. Unso what are they called? Social media? It's unsocial media. I don't do that. I like to talk to people face to face. Mm -hmm. 
you stop loving? That's no way to live. the view or access hollywood live right here which would you watch i wouldn't day? watch either one of them because i like to sleep until like noon or <laughs> but if you 15 seconds what is batman's uh sorry what is batman's bat that comes back what is batman's what? bat that comes Wait, back uh -oh. 15 seconds batman's bat that comes back battering oh, yeah. it is a battering <laughs> <laughs> my favorite emoji is this one. Christmas is my favorite holiday ever. So Christmas tree and decorations and just the feeling of family and love and warmth and yumminess was I think you have the wrong idea about angels. They're not genies that just grant wishes. They're, uh, they're messengers. In the Bible, whenever God's about to do something special, something out of the ordinary, the angels come and tell people not to be afraid. Like the Christmas story when, when the angel came to Mary? Yeah, exactly. thing that you can do for me. I wanted to
into your underwear drawer and, and I say threw away all of your favorite pairs and filled it with nothing but thongs. Hmm? Well, actually, I wear nothing but thongs anyway. Want to see? No, Come mother, on. I don't want to see no, your thong. The point is, oh, I can play a lesbian. Yeah. It's out of control. <laughs> They have to wrangle us so hard. And it's so funny because we are just farting around and doing stupid stuff all the way up until action. As soon as they yell action, and as soon as they yell cut, we're like laughing at each other. And you did this and you did that. And, but we're all so much in tune, we're also in tune with our characters that, that all you have to do is say action and boom, we're there. Right. But otherwise, we have we have fun because we genuinely, we would, we, would, we genuinely love each other, it's hilarious. What it is, you kind of, it's kind of like this. This is, this is what it's like Because you've got all this, all your guns, all stuff like that, and then the collar kind of like pushes your head forward and you kind of walk like a meathead. <laughs> And I'm like, it ain't like that kind of cop uniform, trust me. And the pants come all the way up to here. It's like grandpa. I'm grandpa cop. <laughs> I, I love coming I think the first time in 27 years, I really love coming to work. When you have young kids, you have teenage kids coming up to you and crying and and telling you, tweeting you, Facebooking you um, um, that, that you have made them stronger, that you have made them braver, that you have affected their lives. Um. But it's it's words like normal and acceptance yeah, right. and, and tolerance right, right, right. that you know that need to be excised from from the vocabulary right. we're talking about. Right. It is. I, I, That's the word I use. I will, That's good. This I will is. argue with you on one word. It's that. Well, uh, it's that. Tolerance. What's that? Tolerance. tolerance. I like tolerance. No. Tolerance for. Do I tolerate? Do I tolerate you for being straight? Do I tolerate a Catholic tolerate for being Catholic? Love is love, no matter what. And um, <laughs> I'll get on my soapbox. Um, you know, who is anyone to tell anyone who and what and where and why and how? If you have love to offer, then who is anyone to tell you who you can love? And it's love. Why would anybody fight to or 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 deny love? It's, Really good. 
deaf are not connecting in the scene, and I don't like it when that happens. Because <laughs> we're going this, I'm going that way, and she's going that way. But that's what the scene's about. Hi. Um, I'm so sorry. Did, did, did you say may or may not appear in a speedo? I, it's just I thought that it was it was for sure. Uh, but uh, you know, I would be in a speedo at some point, just just because you know that's that's what we talked about. If you guys want to see me in season three, donate to our Kickstarter. We're almost there. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be me in a speedo. There's gonna be Lauren. There's gonna be Jordan. There's gonna be Katie. There's all gonna be. We're gonna be models and the brothers Rydell and all kinds of people. I'm so excited. And you're the best. I love you. Gotta go. Always the one kissing her. Always the one kissing her. Okay, so we have gather around. <laughs> it's story time with Terry Polo. We have been Disposable, Callie. You're... You're not worthless. I didn't have time to do my hair. Well, it's too late now, sweet. We still have 15 minutes. No, no, no. You guys have to walk to school today. We have a thing. Come on, come in. Okay, I am not going to school with my hair like this. Well, then you're not going anywhere. Ever. Again. The same page. I thought we agreed. I've never felt like such a stepmother in my entire life. Lena, and just so we're clear, I am done disciplining Brandon if this is the way it's going to be from now on. I'm just going to be good time stepmom from now on. You want some candy, Brandon? Sure, help yourself. With some cigarettes? Smoke it up. Lung cancer be damned. Want some booze? No, how about some heroin? Oh, wow. Point taken. Please put down the knife. You're scaring me. Lena, come on, love. What was I supposed to do? And we are done talking about this. Oh, right. Okay, we're done talking about this. Yeah, because that's, that's just that's your answer for everything. Okay, let's just take a deep breath. You're a prisoner who's being held captive in this charming cross by the mission. Seth. What? We went for dinner. Not What happened to your face? Do you like it? No, I don't like it. It hurt? Sort of. Of course it hurt. You punched a hole in your face. You really are a Address from Mariana, please. Steph, wait, don't you think we should just call the police? What do you think I am? Why am I stubborn? Because I want to wear what I want to wear on my wedding day. And you wanted to take care of the flowers, so take care of them. I don't care if we have white calla lilies or day glow Gerber daisies. What are you doing? Lena, what are you doing? To happen. Well, what did you expect? Take no. a second. Did you expect that we were going to adopt her and the two of you would date? I don't know. I... I can't. This is not your mom. I know that it's important to you. It's the only thing of her I have left. No, it's not. Lenny, you have her and all those memories and those are never going to get lost. Wow. 
sorry at this. Hi. If I do see you again, I will arrest you for trying to extort a police officer. us who we are biologically you know it's got to be one of the hardest things when you're adopted you know, the rest of us we want to know something like uh, why are my knees bad or how come i can't sing just ask your parents and they tell us you know well, that's what happens to your knees and it's only going to get worse and none of us coopers can sing <laughs> but you really can't do that so it's okay. It's okay to want to know. Describe it. Then how do you explain putting kids in an apartment where the adults that are responsible for them are letting meth addicts in the front door? Well, what? It's money, isn't it? I mean, this is exactly why you cannot privatize things like foster care. Because even if Callie was tired of fighting for herself, she would never stop fighting for June. Steph, I realize that you and Lena are very disappointed. We're not disappointed. Rita, we're devastated. She's our daughter. Look at me, nothing you can do is gonna make us not want you. You hear me? Nothing! Everything. We're in all of this together. practice the three always like we talked about mom i don't want another lecture from you i get it you don't understand where i'm coming from you never do and, and if i'm feeling something that you don't understand then then you make me feel like i'm wrong for even feeling it that is not true it is true dana when it comes to lena i'm sorry but you can be very dismissive i'm sorry steph but this is none of your business i beg to differ you want to be protective of Stuart, well i want to protect lena I understand that you don't want him to be hurt by what Nate said, but Lena was and still is. How can you not see that? We all do things that we wish we hadn't, but we learn from them. And if we manage not to repeat them, man, it, it feels really, really good. I'm still not over it. No, no it's not going to go away, love. That's not how grief works. I know you know that. It's awful love and it's messy and it sucks and it takes as long as it's gonna take and you feel it and you ride it out, okay? And I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be here every second or whatever you need, you hear me? 
and seeing you be so kind and thoughtful has made me realize that um, I think I have more compassion for my adopted kids than I do for you. <laughs> I just, I think, um, in my mind, you haven't suffered as much as they have. You've had a stable home and parents that have loved you and cared for you from the day you were born. And then it's, uh, it's not fair. It's not fair. I know you suffer. I know you hurt me. You know that things aren't just great just because you have us. We weren't there for you about Callie. Yes, you know, your heart was broken and I should have been there. I should have been more understanding. I just always expect you to do the right thing because you just, you always do. And I'm sorry. Let me ask you this. How does someone fall in love with someone just like that, huh? Out of the blue, without any encouragement, Lena. Did it just happen? Is it something she caught, like a virus or a cold? Is it contagious? Steph, I'm not trying to fight you here. I'm trying to fight for us. Are you asking me if I like the attention? Because yes, yes, I did. I liked it. I'm not saying that I encouraged it, but I admit that I didn't do enough to stop it. Why not? Why not? Why didn't you? Because me, I, I suppose it's my fault because I didn't pay enough attention to you, is that it? Well, you know what? It's too bad. It's too bad because between the kids and my work and my and everything else, I cannot always put you as priority number one. What the hell is this? Whose parents are on this pen, Mike? From Mission Beach Elder Care, huh? Is it AJ's? Is this where his grandmother is? Is that where you were telling me to let this go? No, because tell me though. Steph, it's not. Brother, Ty. Look, we were at the nursing home, and this kid came up to pick up Ty, and I, I thought I recognized him, and went over to take a closer look, and it was Joel's. Yeah, and it turns out you're way out there, you're not so way out. So, I ran the prints on the pen that Ty used to sign in. Well, Wade just said that you told him not to bother planning on burying this, Mike? Look, Steph, we don't know anything for sure. No, 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 these prints match. We have a witness who can ID him. Kill me. Steph, 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 What about AJ? I'm just getting to him. He's starting to trust me. What do you think's gonna happen if, if I arrest the only family he's got left? Not my family. Our family. All the people you love. Jesus and Mariana, Anna, the baby. What about all the pain they've been through, Mike? You had the radiologist send my film over to another doctor mom for a second second opinion, really? Maybe I did. What? Sure. How do you do that? What, they, they can just let anybody send my, 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 my records around town? Uh, no. They have security questions. I wanted to know your mother's maiden name. Took me a second. And I remembered. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, just... Hi. Honey, what did, what did they say? They want me to come back for an ultrasound and, and, and possibly a biopsy. Oh, well, all right, so you'll go. No, I'm not going. The doctors order these tests and these biopsies and all this stuff to make money. It's a racket and I am fine. So that's the end of the conversation. Since that's a positive trait. You are a minor, and he cannot be anywhere near you. I'm sorry, okay? I, I, I get it. I'm not gonna do it again. I don't think you do get it. Your birth father doesn't want a relationship with you or with your sister, okay? And that sucks, but that's the way it is. Life's a bitch sometimes. And on that note, you're grounded indefinitely. 
see why I have to go to some class for losers. Because you've been acting like one, that's why. <laughs> this is so unfair. No, it's not. Listen, I understand that you're disappointed and upset about Flintwood and wrestling and your birth father. But you know what? You have not been responding appropriately. <laughs> this is bull. No, it's tough love. You know what? Go get ready before I kick your ass and don't think that I won't. You know why? My symbol of, of confidence. I always wanted to cut my hair really short. Well, why haven't you done it until now? Because I was afraid I was going to look like a dyke. I hate that I have my own internalized homophobia. But uh, just really been struggling, really been struggling with, with the way people are going to look at me without breasts. As if I am. Uh, as if I'm somehow less of a woman, less, less feminine. But you know what? Breasts and long hair do not make me a woman. And what the hell do I care? If people think that I'm butch because they have uh, an idea of what it's supposed to look like. I just, I just, I just want to look the way I want to look.